Welcome back to the cafe. We'll head along to the Mastercraft kitchen shortly to check in with Mark's pecan pie. Yay! This week, though, Hamish is here and he's going to teach us all of the tips and tricks to replanting seedlings to get the best home grown veggies. And you <laughs> would have started this. They're kind of doing themselves out of business, aren't they? Well, they've, they've, to be fair, I'm really excited about this because mm. normally it's like Star Wars cards, but now we're we can grow. Right. Those, no. those, little, those little chop things, whatever you had, like little packets of fake yep. corn all around the house, annoying. But this Not is much now, better. We have vegetables. Yeah. We have seedlings and so this is really really good now the thing that we're going to show you now is these come in little peat pots so if you've got a multitude of these like I do at home like you do as well oh, I've got so many of them are these your ones no, no these are actually jasmine my producers ones okay. so this is how into it everybody's got right so here's the key we've got the tray too these right. are little peat pots right you can see the roots are starting to come out the bottom from the tomato plants already Mine are that big. Aren't they that big yet? Not yet. <laughs> well, my son, sorry, my 10 year old son is fully into it. Yeah, mine, okay. I like it. Okay, before you two, you're getting very excited about this. Yep. I want to know um, how does this work? So you go to okay. your world, you buy something, and then they what? Do they give you uh, some plants? They're yeah. giving you, you get these back with your purchase. Oh, yeah? Okay, cool. And then this is what they've turned into. Yes. Well, this is what this is right. Plants, Mike, they grow. <laughs> right. They, they, they <laughs> seeds. Right, anyway, moving <laughs> forward. Basics. Moving forward. I'm going to use a little teaspoon here because I like using teaspoons when I'm potting things. Quite simple. Mm. Because this is in a peat pot, one can plant the whole thing. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's I just know, so it's, fantastically well, easy. It's, it's out of control, convenient, isn't it, really? Oh, so we're going to pop it down in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to push our soil back around. And as we do that, we're going to leave a little indentation around the top a bit, okay? okay? That way, when you water it, the water runs into the middle of it and pulls around it, okay? And what's the soil in here you've used? That is, that is veggie growing mix. Okay, cool. You can get, you get that. You can get seed raising mix, you can get veggie growing mix, you can get a mix for everything. All right. So just, I want to ask you quickly, <laughs> yeah. how do you know when they're ready to transplant? Okay, well, these are, these are doing really, really well. So mm. they're, they've grown up tall, they're not falling over. So when you've got them on your bench, you don't want to have them too close to, say, a windowsill sitting down the bench, because then they'll stream out. Have you seen them get really long and skinny? Yeah, they do. Should we look at wondering. Jasmine's dill quickly? <laughs> this is an example of it. Okay. See how it's going sideways and it's getting quite stringy? All of mine are like that, though. Yeah, okay. Well, how do you stop that? Well, it, that's by rotating them in front of the window. Okay, and maybe pack them up on something so they don't have to lean and stretch in. Okay. Now, that was a really straightforward idea. You can use an egg carton as well if you want. So if you've got an old egg carton, you can plant into that. As you water it, it gets soft. When it pops up, you can take it out and you can plant it into your vegetable garden or into your pots. Right. When you are going to be potting up like this, yes. you want to water them. They've got to be damp, okay? They can't be bone dry. And if you let so seedlings like this get too dry, okay, well, or they get too hot, they're going to die, okay? Right. Yeah, what, like like Jasmine's leak, or maybe she No, that just hasn't come up yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, and I'm going to try not to butcher it, because typically this would be coming out of a seed tray like this, okay? okay. So right. if you didn't have this, you could buy your mix, put your seeds into the tray. Yes. They pop up just like this in yep. their rows. You plant them about three times the thickness of the seed under the soil, okay? Okay, that makes and sense. And about... I don't know, one and a half centimetres apart. Okay, what we cool. have to do. Right. My broccoli's better than your, Jasmine's. Your bro <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a contest, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Contest at all. So what we're doing is, pretend this is not in the peat pot, but it's in the tray. Yes. We're going to take it out. I like to use a spoon, mm -hmm. a teaspoon. The reason I do this is, if you try and pinch and pull that out, you can snap it and damage it. Right. So I'm going to endeavour not to damage our little plant. Look. And you just go one at a time. Oh, I've got the seed tray of it. Coming out. That's a, that's a fail, isn't it? That's what do you do now? That's an epic fail. Well, we make, we make the magic of television. <laughs> now, over we Ooh. come. I'm going to part the soil. <laughs> Abracadabra! Abracadabra. Oh, look at that. And look at that. I don't know. Okay, so you just do one at a time. So then well, I'm doing one at a time for this. Yeah. yeah. Now, the thing is, when you're planting these out, you're going to have to watch. Some are flowers, obviously. Okay, so you can pretty much put them wherever you want to go. Mm -hmm. Some are herbs, they're going to be good in little pots. Right. You can get little terracotta pots like this if you like. Yeah, that's nice. cute. Remember, keep the water up. Okay. Because okay, terracotta soaks the water up. Looks you, gorgeous though. It does look attractive, and you might yeah. want to get a little you know, dish for the bottom okay, to keep the water enough. in. And when you're planting tomatoes, oh, look. Jasmine even got me a steak. Oh, no. Nice. What a treasure. Remember, you're going to have to stake your tomatoes. Right. And that is that's a very That's what? a very ambitious it, it steak. It looks <laughs> aggressive, but it's not. Remember the tomato. There's no point using something this tall. Tomatoes yeah. grow right. up. They're going to be big. Really? How do you know it's going to get that? Well, they'll get that high. It's a tomato high. plant, you fool. But they're going <laughs> to... <laughs> 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 so they grow. 
<laughs> they're going to grow proportionately to the tub, okay? Right, okay. So you, when you're planting lots of tomatoes, if you wonder why your plant doesn't look very good, you're going to need a much bigger tub, okay? Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. I think you've covered off everything, although you've got them in the wrong slots here, Jasmine. It, like, mm. that's not cabbage, that's a leek. You've got there's, to label there's... correctly. It's very and important. And you can put your little label in there too. Nice. Excellent. Well, I learned a lot, actually. That was really entertaining. You're going straight okay. to New World, aren't you? <laughs> now I know what a plant is. It's a, <laughs> it is the business. Hey, Hamish, thank you so much for no that. No uh, Get planting. What a great thing to do. And this is really good for the kids, too, and they absolutely love it.